Now, unfortunately, I didn't spend some time in the California penal code system before. It's nothing to be proud about, but, you know, certainly an interesting time in my life. And one of the main things a brother stick by and, you know, what you know and what you hear. Off top is don't drop the soap. And besides not taking shit from anybody, that was one of my number one rules. Now, 18, 19, 20, my first time in prison, it's like I want to make A's. You know, I want to be a valedictorian. I want to come out this motherfucker unscathed and unfucked. So the don't drop your soap became the number one rule. They sent me to Tracy, California. They call it gladiator school, man. And uh, it was vicious. Back in the late 80s, early 90s, they still had the weights in prison. They don't now, of course. But back then, motherfuckers was huge. I'm talking about huge, man. And I first heard this story about this giant motherfucking buff motherfucking black ass nigga named Purple Passion. Never ran into the motherfucker, but the story was vivid. It was said that this big black motherfucker would knock niggas out and suck their dicks. True story. (laughs) I heard a story that a person was out at the urinal, or you could be out at the urinal and put a passion to walk up. And while you're pissing, he'll look down at your dick and look over at you and say, Hey, partner, can I hit that before you put it out? And if you say no... The nigga gonna knock you out, and then when you come through, this nigga sucking on your dick with his fingers in your ass. What you doing, nigga? Yeah, needless to say, I wasn't feeling that at all. I was determined to keep my virginity by all means. So when you first get to Tracy, you don't have no, uh, uh, Zuzu, Wham Whams, hygienes and shit. So they're gonna fix you up with care packages, which was a little half bar of ivory soap. A small ass toothbrush, some tooth powder, and uh, something to write with. And that's it. Two hots and a cold motherfucking lunch. But when shower time came around, you might have to shower with 10, 15 big ass purple passion looking ass nigga. Now, I didn't know who purple passion was. All these niggas are looking like purple passion to me because they was all huge. They had the weights in prison. Them niggas was huge. So I'm in this shower with all of these big old huge motherfuckers. Mind me, I'm fucking a buck forty soaking wet with rocks in my pocket. Showering with these showering with these huge ass, big ass Lee Haney looking ass niggas. Gray hair all in their face like mine right now. So I'm in the shower first time. Nervous as hell. Washing my body off with this half bar of ivory soap. And I think that's why they created soap on a rope because... My bar started slipping and like some slapstick comedy shit, I'm trying to catch this motherfucker. Boop, it slipped up out my hand. And while I was trying to catch this motherfucker, just like some slow motion, that shit fell and hit the motherfucking water. And why I say the water, because it was two inches to three inches thick of flood water of everybody's shit coming off their body in the shower. So just like I said, like slow motion, that shit came out my hand. Boop. And hit the motherfucking water. <laughs> now I needed my soap because it's the only soap motherfuckers giving you. I had a package waiting on me, but I ain't got it yet. I don't know when I'm gonna get it, and I just needed my soap. So I backed up, looked down at the soap, look at these niggas looking at me, look down at the soap, sweating in the shower. I got mad. It's like a cornered ape or a cornered lion or something. I frowned up as mean as I could and was just like, what? 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 And them niggas started laughing at me. And one nigga broke the silence or broke the laughter and said, Oh, nigga, go on, pick up your motherfucking soap. Don't nobody want your old stinking ass booty, youngster. I guess he didn't hear the Purple Passion story. So with my right foot, I scooted the motherfucking bar of soap to the motherfucking corner of the shower, squatted down like old bitch, and picked up my motherfucking soap. Slowly, I might add. While looking at these niggas. And boy, I was a laughing stock of the pie that whole time I was there. Some of the niggas became cool, but man, I was determined to keep my soap and my asshole. True story.